Welcome Capricorn to Amore e Bella Tarot. Do like, share, subscribe, and comment as that is the fuel that keeps me motivated to keep come forth. Um, this is for the middle of June between the 15th to the 22nd. This is for our beautiful Capricorns. All right. Thank you so much for letting me enter into your space. Capricorn, I truly do enjoy this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for all your beautiful blessings and all your beautiful comments. Thank you, thank you so much. And please keep keep them coming, all right? Now we're going to pull four cards for our beautiful uh, Capricorns. All right, this is for the middle of June. Spirits of peace and love, what advice and guidance do we have for our beautiful Capricorn? for this uh, 15 to the 22nd of June. Know that time is uh, fluent, so whenever you get this message is whenever you're supposed to receive it. All right, so we're pulling four cards for you, uh, Capricorn. Very good, all right. I am doing personal readings if you're interested, Capricorn, if you're interested in getting more detail to look at the link down below and your first energy here capricorn is the king of coins so you're very abundant very stable you know what you want and you know what you deserve capricorn that's beautiful your second energy is judgment so maybe you're letting somebody from the past or maybe you're thinking about somebody from the past here capricorn all right, sometimes there's a reason why they are in the past. <laughs> Just kidding, people grow. People evolve, people grow. All right, and your third message here is a beautiful, uh, all beautiful messages, two major arcanas here, Capricorn, but this is the star, so there's a wish fulfillment from the heavens coming to you. And your third, or your fourth message is the six of coins, so so maybe as uh, somebody is giving to multiple people or maybe you just want an equal give and take of a relationship okay let's do some clarification let's ask what the cards have to say here and then we'll have some beautiful messages from our angels so they're so beautiful I really like them all right this is for our beautiful Capricorns for June thank you father almighty amen amen all right so let's clarify this King of Pentacles. Why is this King of Pentacles for our beautiful Capricorns? And it's clarified by the moon. Maybe there's some hidden truths here. Capricorn, maybe you can't see clearly something. Maybe, um, let's clarify, right? Let's let the cards do the talking. Let's see, why is this moon here for our beautiful Capricorns? Why is this moon here? And it's clarified by the four of... Uh, for Pentacles, so you're you're not you're you're not making any movements here, Capricorn. You're just ho holding tightly to your emotions, and you're not taking action. Maybe because you're not too sure. Maybe there's something that is not clear yet. Maybe you don't feel easy about something, but you're gonna let it, things evolve and fall naturally. But you're not making any sudden movements here with the Four of Pentacles, uh, Capricorn. And, why is this Four of Pentacles here for our beautiful Capricorns? There's going to be some messages. There's going to be somebody who's going to reach out and communicate with you. And maybe they're going to clarify what it is in your doubts there, Capricorn. Let's continue on with this judgment. Why is this judgment here for our Capricorns? You're a happily single. You're, you're in a single, ready to mingle. You're loving your single life. You're just, uh, you're just loving. You're, you're just loving your single life. You're living your best life right now, Capricorn. You're enjoying it. You're abundant. You're happy. Yes, yes. Why is this nine of Pentacles here for beautiful uh, Capricorns? Why, why? And it's the Three of Cups. Maybe, maybe you have a third party here. Maybe you're just celebrating your your uh, blessed uh, singleness here. Your happy, happy single life here. But there could be a third party. 
All right, why is this Three of Cups here? For Capricorns and is clarified by the Three of Pentacles, two threes back to back. So um, maybe there's some, um, maybe you're working on, on some sort of a, a new job here, a new money making idea, Capricorn. That's you. That's why you're so abundant. Why is this Three of Pentacles here for our beautiful Capricorns? Why is this Three of Pentacles here? And it's so you're working on, on, on your love life. You're working on uh, on this passionate new love that is uh, coming into play, all right? Or maybe you already have it because you have the Three of Cups. Maybe you just have a lot of love. <laughs> maybe you just have a lot of love options here, Capricorn. Oh, Capricorn. Let's get, move forth here with the star. Clarified by the Five of Wands, which means there has been some competition. It looks like there's a lot of competition uh, for your love here, for your attention here in Capricorn. A lot of uh, love offers. All right, let's clarify. But you're happy single. You're not making any decisions. You're not making any movements. You're just enjoying and celebrating. All right. That's the way it should be. You're single. You could. And somebody's all up in their head. Somebody's uh, um, worried about Let's clarify. Why is this Nine of Swords here? Why is this Nine of Swords here? Let's see. Why is this Nine of Swords here? Maybe you're worried because you do want to um, settle down here. You really want to receive that that truthful cup of love. No more th third parties. No more, no more arguments. No more uh, competition. It's like you really just want to settle down. Um, with this, uh, with this uh, truthful love offer. Okay, why is this Ace of Cups here? Yeah, you have evolved here, uh, Capricorn. You're a new person now. There was a lot of hanky panky, and maybe uh, you were enjoying your single life, but now I think you want something bigger. Uh, that's not that's not uh, fulfilling you any further. And that's why you're up at night. There's something that is missing that you want to come forth. All right, let's move forward. Um, let's clarify the Six of uh, Coins, the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Yes, you have grown. You have evolved, Capricorn. You're in person. You're very intuitive. Uh, you are vibing high, and that's what you're attracting. You're not going to, uh, it's like you now you want to commit before you weren't committal and now you want to commit. You want that solid, uh, spiritual, um, let's clarify. And then we have the chariot. So uh, you're taking action towards what's going to make you happy for that cup of love here, Capricorn. You're no longer going to stay stagnant. You're making choices. You're moving forth, maybe because of this communication that is taking place over here. Uh, why is this chariot here for our beautiful Capricorns? Why is this chariot here? And it's because there's going to be a new long-term stable offer coming your way here. Or you're going to make the offer. Maybe you're taking the... the, the I think you're going to be giving this uh, long-term. You are going to be committing uh, here, Capricorn. Whoop, whoop, do because you have evolved. You know that the relationship that is purely physical will not suffice any longer. So you are in a higher, you're vibing high, you want the uh, equal give and take relationship, and you're, you're asking the heavens to help you uh, get that. But I think you're going to be the one making this offer here, um, Capricorn. You're ready to take action and, and give forth your love to, to have this love that is uh, from the heavens, that is that is mutual, that is uh, equal give and take, that is uh, uh, mentally stimulating, yes. Let's pull one more here on this. Uh, why is this Knight of Pentacles here for our beautiful Capricorns? Why is this Knight of Pentacles? We're going to clarify with the... Four. Yeah, you have, you have cleansed, you have healed, you have evolved, you have... Look at this. You have cleansed, you have healed, you're a new person. Now you're able to receive this love. Now you're able to give this love. You're going to be able to give it, okay? Before you were just into the physical physical uh, situations, but now you have you have healed, 
you know what you want, you know what you're worth, and uh, physical is not going to be sufficient any longer. That's beautiful, beautiful Capricorn. You have evolved to a higher, to a higher being. Good. Now we're going to clarify each, each placement of the spread with one card. All right. I love this deck too. I love my decks. I love doing this, uh, Capricorn. Thank you so much. All right, let's uh, see what we have. So your first message is the Seven of Cups. So you definitely have uh, multiple offers here, Capricorn. So there's definitely uh, multiple offers. Maybe a lot of people want to come talk to you, all right? But you're not making any decisions yet. And then here you have the Queen of Cups, which represents a solid offer coming forth. Um, and then here you have the Three of Cups, uh, twice you have the three of cups twice so you're letting go of the third party you're letting go of the third party here capricorn because that's no longer sufficient because you have grown and evolved and here uh capricorn you have the five of uh pentacles which means you have left somebody out in the cold that was not providing yeah you're getting rid of this third party capricorn and you are um you have healed you have evolved to a higher self and you have left somebody out in the cold because they were just physic, purely, purely physical. Now we're going to ask for a message from your angels here to conclude our beautiful spread for beautiful Capricorns. Uh, but definitely you have evolved and now you want that truthful, full cup of love uh, here, uh, Capricorn. You're, you're getting rid of the third part. All right. This is for our beautiful Capricorns. Angels from the heavens, what advice and uh, advice and guidance do we have for our Capricorns in this middle of June? <sighs> and this is your message from your angels. It, it says, let me show it to you says severe vows of power vows of poverty all right dear one there's no need to suffer or sacrifice hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have consciously or un unconsciously in any lifetime as you do so all effects of those vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. So I think here what it says is um, don't, 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 don't look at your surroundings. Look at all the beautiful things around you here. Look at you. You look so beautiful here, Capricorn. Um, don't be so hard on yourself, Capricorn. Love yourself. Know you're blessed. Look at your surroundings and know that they're, they're all made for you. Okay, what you claim to the heavens, that is what is going to come. So if you claim uh, uh, poverty, then poverty is going to come to you. If you claim uh, money, then money is going to come to you. If you claim love, love is going to come to you. What you claim and what you give is what you're going to receive here, Capricorn. So don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Don't be so hard on yourself. I think that uh, you deserve love. You deserve uh, all the blessings, but you have to open your eyes and, and know that you are blessed and claim it to the heavens here, Capricorn. Thank you so much and blessings.